Okay, my timer's gone off. I'll shut the button off there for a moment. We are going to check inside the oven here. There he is. I'm going to grab my pot holders because now our oven is up to correct temperature. At least that I like to use. I'm going to pull him out a little bit so I can reach him and I'm doing this one handed so I've made this little well with the receiving blanket. I'm going to turn his head upside down sort of as to how he was in there before. And I'm just going to cradle the back of his head in that Oh, that's not a receiving blanket, a bassinet sheet. I like the sheets because they don't um, attract fuzz and lint. So then I'm going to put him back in there. Shut the door. I'm going to set the timer for another five minutes. That noise you hear as we wait for the um, timer to go off is a fan above the stove that I have running. Never uh, or baked vinyl, basically, of any kind. It's good to have a window cracked and a fan on to eliminate any fumes. All right, let's see what's happening inside here. And there he is. Oh yeah, there's fumes coming out of there. So I'll remove the tray. And then we're going to just take him in and let him cool for a bit. Okay, I want to uh, back up and talk about the, uh, the oven baking again. Um, baking in a kitchen oven is at your own risk. There have been studies show that the continual baking of vinyl can be hazardous to your health. Some ladies do buy countertop ovens to uh, do their baking with. Some ladies put ovens outside. Neither one of those were a very feasible option for me. so. I do use the oven in my kitchen, but again, I run a fan and I keep the window cracked. And since I paint with air dry paints and I only do the, the varnishes in the oven, I'm not too terribly concerned, but I do ask that you use your own discretion and make your own choices on that. Now, I know what you're thinking that, well, she never showed us how to apply the Genesis varnish over the whole doll. Um, you can't have a refund on that. It's free teaching, remember. However, it is included in the full reborning course on the DVD set. I do cover every step of applying varnish over the entire doll. You can buy the DVD set at www.theynevergrowupnursery.com. All right, let's continue this little guy's eyebrows. He has had a chance to cool. And I finally have a little bit of sun coming through here, through the leaves of the tree. Later on it will be better, but i um, just going to have to do the best that we can. That's what it looks like baked. He is not cool to the cold touch, but he has cooled down plenty enough for me to apply more varnish. So, as I said, what I wanted to do was add some finer hairs down on the lower brow bone and some up above as well. It's the very same procedure, just done a little bit lighter. I'm just going to brush this on like that. See, I don't need as much. I'll put some along the top. Now he didn't have as many finer hairs on this brow as he did the other brow from what I've created before. So I'll apply a little bit more varnish on this side than the other side. On a big toddler doll, it's real nice to fully build up this line right here into a thick raised brow. He is slightly raised, which is going to be just right for the age that he is, 
but on a toddler this can actually be raised up quite a lot and uh, just provide that one fine layer of thicker brow right along the center line. And then once again, I'm just going to sculpt those, but I'm going to sculpt them down this time. Before I went this direction, I'm going to take them down this way. And see how I'm going from the ear towards the nose. I don't want to go straight up and down. My eyebrows really aren't straight up and down. And then I'm going to turn my pick and do the other direction, and you could do it either way. I mean start this direction first and then go the other direction. The goal is just to bring some fine tips down into the lid of the eye. Light is really terrible right now. It'll get better though. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Except I did it opposite that time. I went up first. I think I've got this right here just a little bit too low. I'll kind of sculpt it that way a little bit. I could take a clean wedge, turn it around so I can get the point of my wedge in there. Just take some of that off. This one is always my hardest brow. I just keep working at it until I get it right. Oh, my doggy says hello. Yes, man is in the neighborhood. I wonder if every dog hates delivery trucks as much as mine do. I think they bring me great things. I don't know what their problem is. I'm just looking, checking my work. I think I would like to add a little bit more thickness through the center of the brow, especially on this brow over here. So it's going to go right down the center Mm. A little bit too thick there. 